Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at common PC mistakes people keep making, and I'm going to show you how to stop making these mistakes in 2024. First off, the tech support scam, as you can see here. How does it work and how can you stop making that mistake of paying your hard-earned cash to these scammers? First off, if you ever see something like this, it's going to be what we call a tech support scam. It will have a phone number on it and they'll try and get you to call this number. You should obviously never call these numbers because what's going to happen is they will start to social engineer you and start to work their magic on you to get you to pay for some sort of tech support that you don't need. These are all fake and they're all scams and they've been going on for many, many years. So if you know a family member, share this video with them because what we're going to do is go through the whole process of a way a tech support scam works and how they end up getting you to part with your hard-earned cash. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. You can use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you've done this, you can submit your order and you can then pay by PayPal and they will send you your key and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows, just like so. If you're interested, check the video description for more details. Now, they're not always tech support scams. Sometimes they are antivirus scams where they will try to con you into parting with your money. Basically, they will send you a email or you may stumble on a website like you see right there. And it will be to do with McAfee or Norton or one of the top leading brands of antivirus, which they know people use. It will, of course, have a link on here and it will get you to call a number. You could be on your browser and you could suddenly be redirected to a site like this where it will show you a toll free number that you can call. And it will also be something to do with Norton saying something went wrong and it will give you an error code, which means absolutely nothing because it's not Norton at all. These are what you call tech support scammers that are using this method to try and con you and scam you out of your money. So there's many different ways that they will use to try to get you to call a number or they might cold call you. There's what we call cold calling in the UK where you get a random number called to you on your mobile phone or your house phone and they will pretend to be from Microsoft or from O2 or from some other mobile company. Whatever it is that they're trying to scam you of, they will cold call you on your phone. And this is a common thing. Just so you know, Microsoft and also any antivirus company or anyone like that will never cold call you for personal details or try to get you to part with any sort of money. Microsoft never ever ask for money for any tech support, so it's going to be a scam if it's from Microsoft. If you're surfing the web and you find sites like these, if you're looking for some sort of PC support, you may see something like this, and this is where these tech support scammers try to scam you. They will use advertisements and also websites with dodgy domain names which they've purchased to try and make you seem like they're from, say, Microsoft. It will all be a certified Microsoft engineer and it will be a Cisco engineer and all these sorts of big buzzwords they like to use on their website to try and rope you into clicking on it and then calling the number on the screen. It will say, are you having PC problems? Sometimes you can click on these and you will get the same uh, sort of error code that comes up, which is something like this. So once you click on them, you may be redirected to something like this. And of course, you're going to start thinking your PC is broken. And again, you'll never receive error codes like this through the browser. Same thing for your antivirus. You do not get warned uh, through your browser about a virus that on your PC. It will be physically on your computer and in your taskbar. These scammers will also pay for advertisements and they will basically use dodgy ad sites like these where you can click on these and they will redirect you to a fake tech support scam site. Where it will tell you you're infected or you've got a problem with your computer. Now, once you call the number, what happens then? Well, once you talk to a technician or a so-called technician on the other side, it will be a tech support scammer. Generally, these are from India. They will get you to open up a page to get some remote software onto your computer. 
what they're trying to do is to gain access to your computer so they can convince you that you are infected or you've got a problem with your computer. By now, you've already started to think that these people are from Microsoft and these sort of scammers will prey on the uh, lack of technical knowledge on the person that they're talking to. And this could be literally anyone. Normally, they're elderly people because they didn't come from a time when computers were available. And of course, they might not be very tech savvy and they can fall foul to this particular type of scam. So once they've worked their magic and they've got you to basically go to this site here, they will talk to you on the phone, talk you through to go to this sort of site, give you the name and they will give you a key. And you may be thinking that phone number looks very familiar. It looks like a Microsoft uh, phone number or a McAfee phone number or any type of other scam phone number. And that's because they're masking it behind something like this VoIP software where they can use a domain name and they can use the phone number of that particular site. And when you get a call, it will register and come up on your mobile or your phone as a legitimate number. So now they've got access to your computer, they will start opening up command prompts and running bunches of commands. And it will start to put a load of code up on the screen and they will start telling you that this is the infection on your computer, you're infected, and they will then start doing other things to try and convince you. This is where the social engineering side comes in, where they're trying to social engineer you and make you feel like that you are uh, infected and you're in trusted hands by a Microsoft technician. And you can see here, it will tell you that current connections are faulty free. They will emphasize the fact that are you on a single computer on your network? You'll say yes, or I've got two computers. And they will say, well, we've got 43 connections on here. You are heavily infected. People are establishing a connection to your computer, and we can fix this with our network fix. We have Cisco engineers and Microsoft engineers to help you fix your problem. This, of course, will come at a cost and it will be an extortionate price. Of course, you haven't got any infections on your computer. You haven't got all of these random computers connecting to your PC from the outside world, and you've been hacked or something like that. It's all just a, a scam and fear-mongering to try and get you to uh, go to the next level, which is uh, to pay for something that you don't need. And if you're not fully convinced yet, what they will continue to do is continue to work on you. They will keep you on the phone as long as possible to try and work their social engineering skills on you to try and get you to uh, pay for something that you don't need. And this is how they do it. They will continue to show you things on the computer that might convince you that you are infected. And in fact, it's just, you know, a bit of basic code they're running up like the tree command, or they'll basically show you the event ID or event viewer uh, on your PC. It will show you MS config and show the services that have all been stopped on your PC. They will go to the status page here and they will show you that these have all been stopped. And this is the hacker or infection on your computer that stopped these. And we can fix all of this because this is essential. Windows backup has stopped. And they will show you all these things that have been stopped on your computer. You know, so this is how they basically con you into falling for their uh, scam. And if that doesn't convince you, they will move on to event viewer and things like this to try and con you into thinking that you've got major errors with your computer and you've been heavily infected. And you can see here, we've got loads of red errors here. They will open this up and they will start to say all sorts of stuff. And this is what happens when you are already allowing them onto your computer. They are now starting to work on you to try and get you to part with your cash. And this is what they want to do. So once they've convinced you that you have got problems with your PC and they'll be continually talking to you. And if that person's not doing any good, they will switch over to someone else. So don't trust technical support calls. Think before you click on things. Never let anyone ever remote into your PC. And if you see anyone that's asking for your personal details, never give them your personal details. If they start giving you something like this, saying this is what it's going to cost if we send it to our Microsoft store, our repair center. You will not get it back until, say, 60 days, and you will have no warranty, and you will lose all your data, 
what they want you to do is option number two, which is online one-time deal, which is basically a computer fix, network fix, and secure identity. And they will get you to then pay for your services, which is by credit card, prepay cards, money transfer apps, or even gift cards. None of these can be traced and the money can't be reversed. So once they get payment from you, they will basically have your money. And this is the frightening thing. Once they get you to uh, buy this service that you're getting, you've basically been scammed. And once they know you've been scammed once, they won't leave you alone. They will constantly bombard you with phone calls and they will try to scam you out of more money. Now, if you know anyone who's vulnerable to this sort of scam, then share them this video. It really is helpful. Also, I'll leave some links in the, in the video description from Microsoft, which will also give you information about how tech support scams work, how to protect yourself against tech support scams, and things like that. As you can see here, you do not want to be uh, clicking on any sort of links in emails. Do not phone any number that is sent to you uh, by some random website because Microsoft do not do that. They do not ask for money and they do not take payment by gift cards, Bitcoin or any of that sort of stuff. Do not download any software that someone gives you and uh, let them remote into your PC. And if it does happen to you, then you can always uh, close the internet connection and stop the connection straight away and don't put your PC back on until you talk to someone who understands what's actually going on. Never give out any sort of personal information and any banking details or anything like that. Otherwise, you can end up uh, losing thousands of pounds or thousands of dollars. And this is how these tech support scams work. It's a common thing. It's happening every single day. If you feel that you're infected, run a scan on your PC to see whether you've got any sort of infection. It talks about it all in this link, and I'll leave that link in the video description for you. There's even a link on there to report a scam, which is very important because the more people that report it, the more Microsoft will hopefully do something about it. Unfortunately, this problem has been going on for many, many years, and it doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. So the more people that you educate on how these tech support scams work, and it's not just tech support, it's antivirus scams, it's all other types of scams as well that are all linked to the same sort of people that just cold call people every single day or hoping to fish someone and catch someone and they will social engineer you until they get payment. And once they get payment, you've been scammed. And it's a common problem in 2023 and even into 2024. So anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it is, then share it with someone who you think might need it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas and I just want to wish everyone a happy new year. And uh, I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.